Hi everybody and welcome to my channel and I have a new bracelet design to share with you today and it features Tinkerbell. So I took apart a summer two-tone bracelet and then I decided to add in my Tinkerbell charms and then this bracelet design came together really quickly. So let me show you the charms that I've included. And here's a quick overview first of all of these charms together on the bracelet and let's go over them. So starting at the very end of the bracelet by the clasp, I have the Open Work White Daisy. Pandora has now released this charm with purple flowers and it has a really pretty effect to it because it kind of fades into a lighter pink in the center of the daisy. And so this White Daisy version was retired really quickly because they released the purple version. This is a beautiful open work charm. You can see the little bumblebee there with the ladybug in silver and that little bee is just kind of covering up half of a flower. Highly recommend this charm even in the purple if you don't manage to find the white. And then next to it, I have the Star Tunnel. This one, Pandora's released it in three different versions. This is the oldest version and it's the original one. So you've got those stars kind of cut out in that barrel shape. And then they released the 20th anniversary edition. And then they released another version with this winter's collection. And here's the new charm that was released. So it looks like Pandora's added some CZs to it, but they still have that barrel shape in the same wavy pattern. And in Canada, it's $45. So that's not a bad price considering the original charm was, you know, maybe only $10 less. And then next we come to the first of the Tinkerbell charms. This one is called Tinkerbell Celestial Night and it's a gold plated charm. So you can see her in profile there as she looks like she's flying. And then underneath you've got that um, kind of a night vision. So you've got the stars with the moon and it looks like it's a little bit of a galaxy. I don't know what this part is and I think I asked and somebody might have answered me. I'm not sure and I've forgotten but this little part right here I'm not sure what that is. If you know can you leave me a comment below? Anyway so you've got the Tinkerbell as a double dangle here and here she is. You can see the side profile of her so she's not flat like they didn't make her flat on one side. And then the back of this charm has an inscription and the inscription says, I believe in fairies. And then you can still see Tinkerbell through the cutout there. This next charm is a little bit of a vintage oldie. It's called the Floral Brilliance. You've got one large CZ surrounded by smaller CZs. And then it does look like a little floral charm as the petals go all around those CZs and then it repeats all the way around. It's an open work charm. This here is a cabochon charm and it's uh, the green oval cabochon. Pandora released these in a few different colors and it, they just have that kind of a see-through effect. I love the shade of green that they used on this one. And as you can see, it's wearing really well. It's not scratched at all. And then the side of this charm has green CZs, but I really like the shade of green that they used. And then we come to a two-tone clip. And this one, I think of it as the buttercup clip. I know sometimes people call it the flower clip. A large amount of gold on this one. I have more than one pair of these clips, so you see them quite a bit in my Pandora collection. Look how much gold is on this clip. It just really stands out. And then we come to the center of the bracelet and I decided to put the St. Bernard dog charm on here, of course, to represent Nana. Do you remember she was the nursemaid in Tinkerbell Peter Pan? And she's got that little wooden barrel around her neck and she's a really detailed charm. Like you look at even the little paws and she's just really sweet. So this is to represent Nana from the Peter Pan movie. And then I have the Wildflowers Murano, and this one is so beautiful. I love this Murano. The white flowers with that shade of green and the little burgundy leaves. Actually, Trollbees recently released a charm that was very similar in color tones. And then some CZs have white and some are yellow. 
in the center of the flowers there. And I thought that this Murano matched this um, cabochon charm really well. I think it just all ties in together the green of Tinkerbell. And then we have Tinkerbell's dress and the little bit of sparkle that they added to this dress in the enamel is just perfect. And then you've got the Tinkerbell in script at the top of the charm. It's funny, I always want to add an E at the end of this bell. <laughs> and then the back of the dress, you've got her wings with the little cutouts. And this is my only of the dress charms that I have in my Pandora collection. Pandora released a whole bunch of them in different dresses. And then we come to another Tinkerbell charm that was recently released. And here she is sitting on top of a thimble. So this one is called Tinkerbell Celestial Thimble. And you've got the little stars with some little golden yellow um, CZs in the center. And then you can see the thread that wraps around and Tinkerbell's just sitting on top. Um, you can see she's got her legs crossed. And then the back of the charm is even just as detailed. You've got her wings. I kind of wish they did a little bit of a pattern on the wings. A little bit more stars going around and then the thread detail as well. And look at her cute little profile with her little bun. So to tie in this open work daisy over here and the Murano, I wanted to use a spacer. And this is the white daisy spacer. It's still available with Pandora. Pandora doesn't have very many spacers remaining and I believe this one is still available. And then I've got another clip over here and another oval cabochon. I love that shade. And then this charm right here is called the Inner Radiance. And it's got a golden CZ in the center of a beautiful intricate pattern of white CZs. Isn't that beautiful? It just kind of comes out like a spoke out of that golden yellow. And it's a really pretty charm. Pandora also released this one in blue and they called it Cinderella's Wish. Let me just pull that one out here quickly. So this is my Cinderella's bracelet that I have just dedicated to Cinderella. I'll just run through these charms really quickly just in case you're interested in a refresh on this one. And at the very end here, I've got Cinderella's Wish and look at that perfect shade of blue that Pandora did. So let's compare these two charms side by side. And here they are together. So ironically, the one at the bottom, the Cinderella one is classified as a Disney charm. And the one at the top with the um, golden color CZ is not a Disney charm, but yet that's the only difference between the two of them. So I'll just quickly share these charms again with you. I've got the little party dress, and then I have the one with the hearts and the blue CZ with the inscription at the back. This inscription is really well done. It's very clear. It says, a dream is a wish your heart makes. And it's a lot of writing in a little space, but it really stands out well. And then I got a few little touches of blue. And here's Cinderella's shoe, the clip, and then I've got the castle. Here is Cinderella with her little blue dress. And then I've got another version of Cinderella and that moment when her dress transforms. So that's what those CZs running around represent. This is her little pumpkin coach. And then I've got another castle dangle. One of these is a placeholder, but I haven't found anything better to use. I kind of want to pull this charm off, but I haven't found a better dangle yet. And this is the Ice Drops Murano. Look at the shade that they used. It's just a perfectly named Murano with those blue CZs kind of in that icy blue glass. Here is her pumpkin coach on one side and then on the other side it's the clock and it's set at midnight. And then I've got the birds to represent all the little birds in the movie. So this is my Cinderella bracelet and I do have a few placeholders like this castle over here, but I also have some placeholders in this Tinkerbell design. Right next to um, this inner radiance charm, I have the green amethyst pendant 
and it is so beautiful. Look how it just shines and glows. So it is a bit of a placeholder, but I really like the shade of this green to kind of tie in with the cabochon spacer and this Murano. And then I've got the silver puffy heart. And then at the very end, I've got a cosmic clip. I use these clips quite a bit and they're actually damaged. So I purchased this clip pre-loved, but do you see how the silver has been really worn down? Like it was put into some kind of, I don't know, maybe some cleaning device that, what's that called? I'm trying to remember, but it's like it's been worn down and it's just kind of a shiny silver right in the center. But I use these clips quite a bit at the end of bracelets just to stop the rest of the charms from falling off instead of using a safety chain. So this is my current Tinkerbell bracelet design, and I'm sure I'm gonna be making a few changes to it, but I just wanted to give you a first look at this design. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. I hope you're all doing well. Take care. Bye-bye.